Over 83% of all the content consumed on the internet is video based. Today I'm going to share with you 15 powerful content ideas for video that you can utilize in 2024. We all know that we should be out there shooting more video content to help our businesses grow, but sometimes we struggle with what are the ideas. So today what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to break this down really into short form types of videos as well as longer form videos and tell you how you can utilize those to compound what you're doing as well. So let's start with some of the things that are most popular right now. Obviously, you can't go online, especially on any of the social media um, platforms, and not find short form video. It is the most popular thing. What's happening right now is, is we're seeing specific types types of videos that really are doing extremely well. Some of this also helps you overcome the idea of getting past some of your fears. So the first type of video I want to talk about is the talking head video. Now what I mean by that is, is you'll see a lot of people, what they'll do is, is they'll have earphones on, they'll have a mic in front of them, and they'll be basically like they're being interviewed on a podcast. Now this does a couple of different things. Number one is, is that it is extremely popular right now. These are the type of videos that are performing and outperforming some of the other types of videos out there. Now don't get overwhelmed that you have to be being someone that's interviewed to be perfectly frank and to kind of pull the curtain back a lot of people are just setting up and staging this so what they're doing is they'll just have a microphone they'll have some earphones on and they're a lot of times just shooting this with their phone or they're shooting it with a camera and it looks like they're being interviewed now one of the things that can make this more even easier for you if you're a little hesitant on shooting videos is to set the camera up like this I'm going to just use this as an example and just be looking off to the side like you're talking to someone there's no one sitting here right now but if I were to do this and I were to be creating some of these short form videos, it would be something along these lines. If I was going to do this, I would have a list of questions that I would have, and maybe if I had someone shooting the video, it would be me, them asking me those questions and me talking to them and answering them, or it would be me just having something that I would just kind of have a list that I would look at and I would edit it on the back end. So if I were doing this right now, this is kind of what it would look like. I'd have my headphones on, I'd have the microphone, but I would be looking off camera and I would do something along these lines. So one of the most interesting things I'm seeing in the market statistics right now is that we're seeing our average days on market actually go up. Now, what's interesting about this is, is that that shows us a couple of things. That shows us that we're seeing more houses come on the market. It's taking a little longer for those houses to sell. So we're seeing a shift where buyers have a little more negotiating room than they had in the past. So those buyers that are out there that have been waiting for an opportunity to be able to maybe negotiate a little bit, now might be the ideal time for them to be able to go out there and find their ideal house and have a little bit of negotiating room on top of it. You see, that gives me the ability to really give the information, break down a statistics, for instance, that gives me the ability to add value. Utilize these talking head videos and you're absolutely going to get some response. Number two really leads right into what I was just talking about, which is taking long form where we typically would give a three to five minute, 10 minute, possibly even overview of what's happening in the market and break it into specific targets. You noticed on that previous video, I talked about the fact that we saw an increase in the days on market. But what if you were to do one of these videos where you talk about the average home price. So this is an example of where you would do one of those. And again, you could do it in the podcast format or you could just look in the camera and we're going to take one statistic and make it a short form video. So this is what one of these would be like. One of the things that was interesting is, is that despite having all the headwinds we had with higher interest rates, despite the fact that we had somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 to 30% less transactions in our market last year versus the previous year, we see the statistic that our average sales price was actually up still 2%. Now this is what that tells me is, is that we've got a lot of resiliency in the market right now as far as our valuations. Now it also gives me a hint that it would be natural to consider that if interest rates come back down, if we begin to see the transactions come back up and the demand come back up, that home prices would go up as well. So if you're a buyer and you're considering a great time to buy, now is a time where you've got a little more leverage as far as possibly because we're seeing more inventory. And also we can do this with an anticipation that if things things get better in the real estate market, then obviously we would anticipate that prices would go up as well. You see, when we do these and we break down a long form video into short form, bite sized pieces, so to speak, and we use these on social media, these are very popular right now. And it's a great way for you to find some content. 
Another great short form video that's working really re well right now on Instagram are the green screen videos. And if you're not familiar with this, basically what it is is you'll see people where they'll have an article or they'll have a picture behind themselves and they'll just talk about what that is. So let me tell you how you do this. This is called green screen videos. And basically with Instagram, what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna actually go in and you're gonna click on the icon down at the bottom right where it has the reels button. And then on the top right, you're gonna see the camera and you're gonna click that camera icon. Once that comes up, up, there's going to be some little sprinkles or whatever you're looking there but basically that's the features you're going to click on that features button and that's going to take you to the opportunity for you to choose what it is that you want to utilize in the search bar write in green screen now it's going to come up with a number of different options just choose one of those and when you hit that it's going to give you the ability to have a little icon down there that's going to say add background or add media then you're going to go to your camera roll where you've already saved that picture from that article or whatever it is that you're wanting to talk about and you're going to click add that and you're going to add that that will then be your background you're going to reverse the camera around and basically now you're going to have the ability to hold that and talk about this that's behind you you'll be able to see it on the screen while you're recording it but this is a type of video that's doing extremely well right now now if you're doing it with the reel once you've recorded that green screen backdrop you can still go in and put the description like you would and you would edit it just like a regular reel you can add trending music whatever it is that you want to do you're gonna have it just like a regular reel you can also do these with Instagram stories um, but if you're curious about that I'll let you go ahead and go to YouTube and find someone that can teach you how to do that but listen you have the option to do these green screen backgrounds and to do these videos very easily once you've done one you're gonna be hooked on this because the response you're gonna get is probably gonna be higher than anything else you've done to this point next up I want to give you one that could be a long-form video or a short-form video but let me just give you the title on this three ways to make sure you get the lowest interest rate possible when buying your home. Now, this is one where everybody's talking about interest rates. They're being elevated. So now you go in and you talk about what people should do. So I'm gonna just kind of give you an idea on this. Number one, typically what I would say is, is understanding how to find the right lender. Finding two or three lenders, having them compete for your business is a great way for you to get the lower interest rate. Number two is make sure that you're negotiating where when you write your offer, you're asking for the seller to pay towards a buying down your rate. This is a great way to save and you can explain that in your video. And then number three, what I always say is, is and if you're not sure how to do either one of those, talk to an agent that understands how to negotiate to get you the lowest rate through the contract. Also, the person who knows the best mortgage people in town, which happens to be this agent right here, or however you want to phrase that. But basically, make sure that you're drawing everyone back to you. This title, right now, specifically, in the time we're in where people are talking about interest rates, is a hot topic, and if you create that video, promise you're going to get some engagement. All right, the next one is something that you could do longer form or shorter form. We're seeing a lot of activity with this one on TikTok, Instagram, when we're doing basically wondering what you get for $500,000 in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, and then you do a quick walkthrough of a place or you're standing out in front of the place and you say, wondering what a million dollars would get you along 30A and you're just standing in front of a place and you just selfie video that first portion. Then you do a quick walkthrough of the place and posting that. Again, utilizing this on Instagram Reels, TikTok, all of the different platforms for short form is great. This is also a great one that you can utilize with a little bit longer form video where maybe you get a little more detailed. Maybe you go in and you hire, a, and, a, hire someone on your listing that you've just listed and you use that listing as something to not just promote the listing, but to then also do a different type of content that's going to be evergreen, that's going to give you the ability to draw an audience over time. So utilize this title and this type of video, both on short form and on long form, and you're going to get some results. You know, as real estate agents, a lot of times what we do though also is, is we forget that we are the resource for the community. We want to be seen as that resource, not just in real estate, but for all things for our community. So what can we do to just kind of shift our focus a little bit where we're not focusing on ourselves and help ourselves grow our audience. So one of the things that I like to do is, is to go in and talk about some little known facts about your area. So something like this would be, and you can use ChatGPT to go in and just simply type in, give me 20 facts about whatever your city is that most, most people don't know about. It's going to give you this list of those facts, and now you can choose whichever ones you decide to do, and you can give these facts about your area. You're going to want to do the hashtags for your local area. You're going to want to make sure if you're talking about a specific type of business or a specific park in your area that you tag that area or you tag that business because it gives you the ability to do that. When we're thinking about building an audience, building trust, if all you do is present properties, if all you do is talk about real estate, now you're a salesperson. But when you begin 
to share things about your area, share things about your family, especially in the video content you're doing. Now you begin to build an audience that knows, likes, and trusts you, and that's what leads to more business. Next up is to do a frequently asked questions series. So what are the questions that you get asked most? Listen, if you'll just take a couple of days over this next week when you're talking to your listings, when you're talking to potential buyers, and you just remember the questions they ask you, then you start writing those down, and then you begin to just answer those questions on short form video. This is gonna give you the ability really to find your audience and also to get some organic traffic when you utilize making sure that you're hashtagging these correctly, making sure that you're putting the description where it's searchable, and making sure that you're giving answers that are of value to the people, such as buyers or sellers. Now, so what would some of these look like? Whatever it is that you're asked, maybe someone says, is now a good time to buy a house or should we wait until this summer? Well, what's the answer that you would give somebody if they asked that? Odds are, it's the answer that you would wanna use on your video. Again, make sure that you're thinking about the specific questions people have. So another example for a seller might be, so what do we do to get our house ready to put it on the market? So when you start having these questions that are asked to you all the time, begin to just document those on video, post those on social media, and not only are you answering questions that you have, that you get all the time, but you're at a place where people begin to see you as the answer source that they're looking for for all things real estate. Next up is new subdivision overviews. Now this is something where you wanna be the first person there, especially if you're using a little bit longer form videos, and this is something that you may or may not want to hire out because you have to understand, when you go out and let's say that there's a new subdivision and you utilize some drone photography, you talk about what's coming, there'll be 365 homes in this neighborhood. The anticipated purchase price for the first homes that will be built here will be in this range. The average square footage of these houses for the builder that the builder is gonna be building are the these, or the builder is going to have six different floor plans. When you do that overview and you tag it properly on YouTube, you title it properly on YouTube, and you give the description correctly, then you're going to have the ability to move up the search very quickly for that new subdivision that's happening in your area. When you're doing overviews of, of subdivisions that are newer that are coming to the market and you can be the first one to do content on that, you're absolutely going to have the ability to be at the top of the search, which gives you the power position when it comes to video content. Next up is listing videos. Now, this may sound like something that, well, we do this on our listings, or if you don't, absolutely you should be. But I wanna encourage you to spend a little extra money on your listing videos. Now, here's why. Number one is it's gonna be better marketing, gonna help you sell that house faster. Number two, though, is it's gonna give you the ability to basically audition for your next listing. You see, when you have a portfolio of these listings that you've gone out and you've shot professional videos on, and now you've got something you can share in a listing appointment, and you can say, listen, we spend a little extra money on the video content because we know that 83% of all the content that's, that has been someone is, that is being consumed online right now is actually video content. So we're going to spend extra money in that area to make sure that we show your house better. You're going to have a better chance of getting that listing when you can show what you're doing instead of just telling them what you're doing. Also, this is something that will have legs well into the future. This is going to be something where people are going to see this because you're going to want to tag these videos for the neighborhood, for the location, as well as for the area where you're in. That way, when somebody comes on and they're searching on YouTube or they're searching for video, uh, video or information about that specific neighborhood, your video, because of the quality, is going to pop up to the top. This is going to continue to show your value to the marketplace where you're basically reinforcing the fact that you're the marketing resource that those folks that are considering selling should absolutely be leaning on. Next up is the school info for your area. Now, one of the first questions that families ask that are considering moving to our, to our area or to your area is they want to know about the schools if they have kids. Now, what can you do to kind of get ahead of this? One of the things is, is you always want to utilize public information. Most of these school websites are going to tell you how many students they have. It's going to give you their state scoring. It's going to give you basically the information that you're looking for to be able to share with those folks. So imagine being able to go in there and say, Hey, I'm Jimmy Burgess with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. We actually have three options for high school in our area. The first one is, and you give the demographics. The second one is this. Now, if you'll notice down in the comments below or in the section below where I'm giving the description, I'll have links to these high schools and all of their information. By the way, if you're thinking about moving to our area, please know that I'd love to be your resource for any information you'd like, whether it be in relation to housing or any of the things that are going in and are on in our local area. You see, when you shoot those types of videos and you basically are answering the question that most families have before they even come to your area and you're putting that on YouTube, you become more searchable. They find you before 
before they even come to town and you get the opportunity to have more buyer leads than you ever had before. Next up is floor plan videos for specific communities. Now, we have a lot of these neighborhoods that are track built homes. And what I mean by that is, is you'll have a one builder that will build out four or 500 or more homes in one subdivision, and maybe they only have three floor plans. So what could you do to actually go and get one of those houses when it's your listing or when it's something else, go in and shoot the floor plan, get an idea of the flow of that house, tag that for that neighborhood specifically so that anyone that is considering buying in that neighborhood would have the ability to almost do a virtual walkthrough of the home before they even come into the area or they find those homes that they actually want to see. This is a great way to get again ahead of the opportunity. This is a way to add value in a way that's going to be unique. It also gives you the ability that any of those homeowners in that neighborhood, if they find your video and see that you're doing this extra work for that neighborhood, you're absolutely going to get an opportunity to be one of the agents that they interview to possibly list their home with. Next up is a specific topic, which is the three most popular neighborhoods in your area. Now, this can be done by so many different things, but basically, what are the largest neighborhoods? in your community? What are the neighborhoods that most people lean on or they look for? Now by doing this type of video, you're going to have the title that is going to include all three of these neighborhoods because that's going to make it more searchable. You're going to go through and do the pros and cons of each neighborhood. This subdivision, the history of it, was started in 2002. It has a total of 265 homes. The average price range as of the beginning of 2024 were between this price point and this price point, and there are homes in there ranging from 1,500 to 2,500 square feet, whatever the details are. You see, by giving that information, and then at the end, make sure you do a call to action. Have something ready. If you'd like to see homes that are currently for sale in each of these neighborhoods, go into the description below and you'll see the link to each of those opportunities. Now, this gives you the ability to capture leads, it shows you as the resource, and it gives you the ability to show that you know what's going on in those local neighborhoods and you're the person that they should be working for when they find their next home. Next up is the pros and cons of moving to whatever your city name is. Now, if someone is considering moving to your area, they're gonna absolutely be interested in the pros, but they're really gonna know about the cons. So what do we do to frame this in a way that leads to a, to a pro? So this is what we typically did. I did a couple of things. One thing I would say is um, one of the cons that a lot of people have about living here is, is they don't realize how hot it gets in August in Northwest Florida. But it's actually kind of nice because even though it's that hot, with the, all the outdoor activities that we have that are centered around water sports, whether it be boating, whether it be going to the beach, whatever it is, a lot of all the activities we have are centered around that water where you can quickly jump in and cool off, or you're gonna be around the water where you're gonna have a little bit of a cooler breeze typically coming in the afternoons and the mornings off of that water. You see, we took basically, we talked about a con, but we led it to one of the pros of living in our area. When you get a little creative with these and you offer value, people begin to see who you are. I would encourage you, be authentically yourself. Be excited about your area when you do these videos. These videos are as much about people saying, you know what, that's somebody I could work with. That's what we're trying to do is create that opportunity for people to connect with us through the videos to make our phone ring and get those new clients. Next up is another topic-based one, and it is seven things to consider before buying in whatever your city is. Again, we're using the city name or we're using the neighborhood name to make sure that we're getting very specific so that we do really well on the search engine and also when people are searching for those terms that our video is gonna be at the top. So one of the things we're gonna to wanna to do with this is we're gonna make wanna make a list of things they should consider before they come. This could be like, what's most important to you? Is there a location you wanna be close to? A school, a hospital, an amenity? So just go through and make this list of those things that people should be thinking about before buying. Do you wanna be in a neighborhood that has a lot of parks? Do you wanna be in an area that's a little more downtown centered so that you would have more activities? Asking these questions, thinking about these things. These are the type of videos, again, that give you the ability to build a connection with people before you even meet them. Last but not least is a teaser title to help you identify some of the people that are considering selling. So this is the title. Seven secrets that are rarely told about how to sell your home for the highest price with the least amount of hassles and in the fastest time in whatever your city is. Now, this title is something that absolutely somebody that is getting ready or thinking about selling is absolutely going to click on if they see this title. So, one of the things we want to do in this is, again, we want to give value. So we want to talk about some things that we do differently. What is it that we're doing? We could be talking about pricing. We could be talking about marketing. We could talk about negotiating. We could talk about staging. Whatever it is that you do 
Talk specifically about those things that help people sell their home faster for a higher price and with less hassles. And I promise you're going to make a connection with sellers that is going to give you the opportunity to get more listings. Listen, I hope these ideas have been helpful. Get out there, push past your fear, shoot the video content, and your business can't help but grow. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful, and I'll talk to you soon.